So this video is on sections 3 to 4 of Schraffer, Production of Commodities by Means of Commodities. In the last videos I was doing a two-sector subsistence economy. This time it's expanded to three sectors. That makes it a bit more complicated because in the last videos you could see easily the exchange rates at which the two products exchanged. It was just the surplus in, in each industry, surplus over the 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 product that's produced in that industry. Here it's a little more difficult because you can't just take these totals and and have them exchange directly against each other because there has to be a three-way trade. There's some unevenness between how much people are producing and using. So just a reminder, this is an input-output table. Over here we have the outputs, which are the totals of wheat. So over here, the wheat industry is producing 450 wheat total. Over here, the iron industry is producing 21 irons. And over here, the pigs, the pig industry is producing 60 pigs. And you can see that they're the same as these totals here. Over here, these are the inputs. So the wheat industry needs 240 wheats. 12 irons and 18 pigs to produce 450 weeks and so on along the table. Now the thing is if you try and put this in a like matrix or algebra format you find out that this is a singular matrix so it's not going to work. Basically that's because these columns and the rows and the columns all total the same and it just comes out with an error or you get the values all equal zero, that which is really not helpful. But there's a really easy way of working it out. And Shafi says, just choose one of the sectors to use as a kind of a standard. So you, so rather than having i as a variable here, we're going to cross out these i's. And then this is just going to be 12, 6, and 3. And what that does is it removes one of the variables, so then you can do the system of linear equations just like you normally would. And you can do that by hand, but I just find it quite long and there's math calculators online. So the one that I'm using is hackmath.net. And here is the solution. So you, this is what you type in in the calculator. And it's exactly like... I showed you above, you just remove the tw the i from the 12, the 6, and the 3. You can leave it just here because that doesn't matter. It just gives you, then it just gives you 1 for irons. Everything else you, you just type in as, as it is in the book. And then here you get your result. This is the output of the result. So here you can see that the unit price of pigs is 0 0.5, 50p, and here wheat is 0 0.1, so 10p. And iron, because you've left it as standard, it's just going to be 1, or 1 pound. These fractions tell you the totals that you have to divide it by. So like, iron is, is 1, so you don't divide it at all, so we're going to just call it 21 pounds of iron. Again, it could be any amount, as long as they're in these same proportions, it'll work out fine. So pigs, you divide it by 2, so 30 pounds, because 60 divided by 2 is 30. Wheat, you divide it by 10, so 450 divided by 10 is 45. So if we go back up, so now we know the total of this is 45, 21, and 30 pounds. And then over here we can also break it down by each part of the sector. So just, just to say, in the book Schreffer says it's one iron to two, wheat, to two pigs to ten wheat. And this, these are the these are the totals you get here, and these are the unit prices. So going back here, we're gonna say 
this week, it's also 0 0.1 e each, so it's now going to be £24. This one's going to be £9, and this one's going to be £12. The iron, we know we've just left it at 1, so this is going to be £12, this is £6, this is £3, and the pigs, well, we divide it by 2, so £9, £6, and £15. And now to check that that like, works out correctly, the way that you do it, well, you know that the wheat doesn't have to leave the wheat industry, so we can cross that out. It still has to pay for its own wheat, but it just it doesn't have to exchange it against another part of the social product. Same for the six pounds of iron, and the same for the 30 pounds worth of pigs. All of those sectors just exchange for themselves. Then over here, we've got, it's, it's going to get in, these are the amounts that it's going to get in. So it's going to take in £9 from the iron industry, because it's, the iron industry is going to buy 90 wheat. And it's going to take in £12 from the pig industry, because the pigs are going to, the pig industry is going to buy 120 wheat. So then you need to check that these, these that you're, they're going to take in are this, at least the same as what they're going to buy. So here the, the wheat industry is going to buy £12 from the iron industry and it's going to buy £9 from the pigs industry because it needs £12 worth of iron and, and £9 worth of pigs in order to make it the wheat, the 450 wheat. So obviously 9 and 12, 9 and 12, they're equal. Over here in the iron industry, same thing, got £12 um, coming in from the wheat industry, £3 from the pig industry, and here they're going to um, need to buy £9 from the wheat industry, and they're going to need to buy £6 worth of pigs. So 12 plus 3 and 6 plus 9 is £15. So they're fine, they're getting in the same as what they're putting out. The pig industry as well, so here they, they're going to get in £9, they're going to get in £6, and they're going to need to buy £12 worth of wheat and £3 worth of iron, 12 plus 3 is 15, 9 plus 6 is 15, so that's all fine, the, the economy, that means that the economy, the whole economy can reproduce itself and start again to produce these same amounts of products again they're not expanding their reproduction yet it's it's just simple reproduction they're just trying to replace what they've used up in each round of production and, and start again okay that's that's the end of the third section i think i think Schreffer says also that you you can these numbers don't have these table doesn't have to be full so you could imagine a situation in which the wheat industry, they didn't get any pigs. And the, so then the pig industry is also not selling to wheat. So you could just have a, a zero in some of these sectors. But it will still work out just fine. You can, you can test it out with the algebra calculator. I'll put a link in the, in the video description. And you can you can see how it works out with with a, a, some parts of the economy not needing an input from another part. Okay, thanks.